It is finally November 30th, 2 p.m. ET. Mesa and Hydroid are now available. So let's go ahead and take a look at them in Maroon's Bazaar. That's where Varzea is, or Varzea, whatever her name is. Let's go take a look at that. I will finally be done with my Prime Accessories collection once I get Hydroid's Prime. And obviously, this is the title of the video. So... Hydro Prime, Mr. Prime is now here, so guys, start to get the farm because, yeah, it is about that time to get Mesa Prime. That's I'm sure everyone's goal right now, and that's what I say you should farm right now is Mesa Prime. The weapons, I would say, definitely worth it. I know a lot of people are kind of probably gonna go for Redeemer Prime. Uh, yes, another good weapon, I would say, but I think the Shroff is better than this. Um, I would also say. Akajagara Prime is a really good one as well. So definitely farm that. The Nami Skylar Prime is available as well. So definitely farm that as well. Really good primary, I'm sorry, not melee weapon. And, and um, yeah, like you got to pick this one up. So definitely pick that up. Um, we have the Sardin Prime Sugatra. This is with Hydroid. And the Spirit Sail. I'm going to say that. Prime Armor Set, which we're going to pick up. Operator Prime Accessories, that come with Mesa Prime Accessories, the Chola Prime Sugatra, Mesa Prime Montesa Helmet. Wow, they actually separated that. That also goes with Mesa Prime Accessories. So, that's pretty dope. But they separated it, so it's going to be more of a purchase because that costs two. Any armor pieces cost two. That costs one and that costs one. So, that's pretty dope. I thought the helmet would cost two, but that's pretty insane. So, here are all the relics, obviously, and uh, yeah, Hydroid Prime Armor Set, the Spirit Sail Prime Chest Plate, Shoulder Plate, Shoulder Guard, Left and the Leg Guards as well. So, here it all is, the Prime Armor Set for Hydroid, and yeah, they look actually really nice, I gotta say, it's pretty dope. Um, I think it's definitely better than the, looks way better than the... Uh, out of his prime uh, shoulders and the whole armor set basically i would say they're not bad but honestly i think these look very well and they actually look better than and knowledge prime armor sets because these are obviously only for a knowledge prime and meant for him because of his primed uh let's say visual armor set so that's what I would say, but honestly, god dang, I just didn't notice how crazy these armistices look. Like, they look actually really nice. So, I would definitely say this is worth it. This armor set right here is definitely worth it. Let's go ahead and color it. So, obviously, gold pieces will look very, very detailed and amazing with it. You guys can see the um, some detail lining over here on the... You can see armor pieces on the armor pieces, the uh, gold pieces. So that's what I, you can see that. And it looks really amazing. Honestly, it stands out. I think this armor set is definitely worth it, guys. I don't want to keep repeating myself because I really just kind of like it, don't know what else to say. But if you were to color these, these are amazing. These are a top tier nice armor sets. I thought these armor sets were going to be worse when. Uh, Hydroid Prime came out, first came out, and um, I saw these, and I kind of wanted them because, you know, the, I've been always wanting Prime accessories for a very long time when I actually didn't have the money to afford it. But now, since I'm at that time where I can, it actually really amazes me how thinking like, okay, the armor set look pretty garbage, but once you actually get it, it's kind of like a whole different feeling and like you just change your whole mind about it so that's how i was feeling when i first saw these armor sets coming with hydro prime these look absolutely amazing i would say definitely worth it but i'm gonna let you guys be the judge of that let me know in the comments below if you think these armor sets are not worth it or worth it now i'm not a fan of sugatras i hate them i really just don't see what's the purpose of even putting sugatras in a prime accessories pack but anyways we're gonna take a look at them and we have the Sardine Prime Sugatra, okay? So, yeah, I mean, they look pretty nice. 
uh, it's just like, do you guys even know those Sugatras? Do you guys even like Sugatras? I already said my favorite Sugatra is the Damien Prime because it looks something like the Mesa Prime Cyandana. It's literally exactly the same. But I gotta say, like, Sugatras are just not all interesting like that. It's just like, why even make Sugatras? You know? I just really don't get it, to be honest. So it's kind of like a downer for me when I see Sugatras in here. But anyways, let's go ahead and color these. Don't want to waste too much time on that. But it's just kind of a, you know, it's kind of made me sad how they just put Sugatras in here. I really just don't see the purpose of them. But, you know, I won't complain too much about it. It is what it is right now, and there's nothing we can really do about it. But, um, yeah, this is kind of like a low quality of a Sugatra, honestly. Like, there's nothing cool about it. Honestly, like, it's not better than the rest of these. It's not better than this. It's not better than the Damien. The Damien is, like, number one with Sugatras. Ar Ar Aroka, yeah, Aroka is really cool. Dope one. It shows more gold pieces than... You know, obviously the the sardine one, it's just like, it looks too plain, you know? It don't really look dope as the rest of these Sugatras, the prime ones. Cantino, I think, uh, it's definitely better than this. Like, it's just, it's kind of lame. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but anyways, enough talking about that. Let me know what you guys think about the sardine uh, prime Sugatra in the comments below. I know someone's going to probably ask me, can it channel energy or whatever you guys think? Uh, yes, it can. And it does this. All right. It looks pretty dope. Water flows out, maybe in, out of the uh, armor sets. You can also see some channeling energy from the gold piece that curves down on the armor set. You guys know what I'm talking about. And water is just basically flowing from the body. So that's actually pretty dope of what it can do. And yeah. Let me know if you guys really think this armor set is worth it. After further inspecting the prime accessories for Hydroid, I think I come to the conclusion that the armor pieces are only worth it, not the Sugatra. But I do have to say, when you color it, it does tend to look nice. That's the only thing I would say. But guys, you have to remember that this is Regal Aya, all right? And once you purchase Regal Aya, you, are, you will be able to purchase armor sets and maybe something around affordable because not a lot of, uh, let's say, of the accessories are going to be affordable and some of them are just affordable. And the prime accessories are probably, I, I think, the spiritual prime armor sets, the only thing that I would say just purchase not the sugatra at all don't even waste your time on it okay just look at the armor sets and only focus on these after that it's it's done with you're done with them all right but anyways that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it leave a like and make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel follow you on all social medias and twitch links are in the description love you guys and i'll see you in the next video